Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So now in this video, I'm going to be showing you that how can you work with the widgets? Okay, where are the widgets and why are they used for? So now you can see that this sidebar that is coming. This is the show. This is showing some stuff. You can see we have the search. We have recent posts, recent comments and these stuff. So they are basically called the widgets. Okay, widgets are necessary for you if you want to add the blog functionality. Okay, but if you do not want to add the blog functionality, then widgets are not recommended to use in the about page and these because about pages do not have do not use that widgets. Okay, um, blogs mostly have the widget so that anyone can just reading this and he sees a new thing like um, categories a feature. Okay, so he'll just go there and he'll just okay, I just want to go ahead and I want to open up. So how you can just edit this sidebar and how you can work with the widgets. What are the widgets, how to add them and how to just work with it. So let's just go ahead and let's just go to dashboard right now. Okay, I'm going to go to the appearance and then I'm going to go to widgets right now. And in here, I can manage every widget that has on my screen. So we have the blog sidebar, footer one and footer two. Okay, so let's just work with the blog sidebar. Okay, and then I'm going to tell you that about the footer one and footer two later on. So you can see that we have these currently right here. If I just open this up in my new tab, then you can see we go down and we have this blog one right here. So let's open this up and you can see that we have this sidebar. Even if you open up any of the post, this is same. Okay, so you can add that if you want to. How are you going to do that? You can just pretty well change stuff. You can pretty well do anything. So let's suppose that I don't like this meta tag. Like it says site admin, logout, entries, RSS, wordpress.org and these. So let's suppose that I don't like this. I just want to remove it. I'm just going to go here and I'm going to hit delete. That's all. This is removed. And then I just come here and I will just refresh. You will see that this will be gone. Let's refresh. Gone. You can see that this is how our widget is looking now. We have our search, we have a recent post, we have a recent comments in these. So these are defaultly added by WordPress. Okay, you can see we have archives as well. What are the archives? It's gonna show the date like um, when the post was published and something like that. So if I just open up January 2018, it's going to show all the posts that has the month January 2018. So it's going to show all the posts that were posted on this date. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tell you that how can you add these available widgets into here. Okay. So let's suppose that I want to add the um, text. Okay. Like I want to add the text about um, welcoming. So that can be like welcome to our blog. Okay. Let's add this. Okay. And this is the title is going to be um, welcome to our blog. Okay, so I'm just giving you an example, like how can you add it? And I'm going to keep it to be like bold. Okay, like I want to make it bold and I want it to be like, um, we welcome you. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save. And let's just go ahead and let's have uh, a look at this. Let's refresh this. Okay, refresh this page. Here you can see it says, welcome to our blog and we welcome you. So let's suppose that I don't want to add the title. I just want to add this. I'm going to come here. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit save. That's all. And I have to come here and I have to refresh this. And on refreshing, you can see it says, we welcome you. So you can see um, how great it is looking. I can bring this text to the top. Okay. And this is right here. And I'm going to add it to be like, we welcome you to our blog. And I'm going to hit save. And now let's have a look. Okay. It will uh, give a great impression. You can see this. We welcome you to our blog. So this is the text this, uh, that is coming. And then we have the search and these right here that are coming here. So you can pretty well go ahead and edit them as well. Like, um, let's suppose that I want to show the recent post to be like um, the count of three. Okay. I just want to show three recent posts. That's all. Okay. I'm going to come here to recent post and I'm going to show here to be like number of posts to show. And I'm going to keep, keep it like um, two. Okay. It should show two posts. That's all. It doesn't, I don't want him to show three or four. Okay. I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit refresh. 
And I can see now this is showing two recent posts. And that's all. Okay, same like this, I can go here to the recent comments and in here, let's suppose that I want to show him to show zero comments or like um, I want to remove the comments. I don't want to sh him to show any comments. I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit refresh and you can see no comments are here. Since we have deleted that, um, since there are no comments, that is why this is not coming. Now, let's just go ahead and let's work with the categories. You can see that we have the category right here. If I want to come here and you can see it says display as drop down, show post count, show as, um, I don't know how to pronounce this. So let's just go ahead and let's just select this. Okay, I'm selecting this and I just go ahead and I just hit save. And I just come here and I just refresh this. You can see it will be as drop down. So if I just like to be like category to be news, then it's gonna refresh and it's gonna show the category of the newsroom. So this is a pretty uh, good way to just uh, choose the category. Show post count, okay? So I'm just clicking this, let's just go ahead and let's refresh. Now you can see this is the showing the post count that how many posts we have. So for feature, it's gonna show two posts. I can see two posts are coming here. And then we have the show this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit save. Let's have a look at this. Okay, we have to uncheck this. And now let's have a look at this and let's save this. And now, when I will refresh, you will see the look will be changed a bit. So you can see it, it is like this. Feature, news, press release, and everything. So this is how it is looking, guys, and it works pretty cool right now. So now you can see that we are um, totally done with the widgets. I know you might have understand that this, okay? Um, I know it might be so confusing to you right now, okay? But when we will understand, when we will work with our projects, with our more projects, like when we will build professional blog, and this stuff, then you will understand it much better, guys. Okay, so do not worry about this if you are just like, I want to learn more. Okay, when we will build a different type of projects, then you will understand different type of things. That is why I'm telling you not to just leave this course and build your own website. You can practice on the sidebar. That is recommended by me even. But do not be like that. Okay, I know WordPress now and I don't want any lecture and I'm done. Don't be like that, guys, because there are, there are so many things uh, even the, the that are new to me. But I'm just um, uh, searching on Google and these when I'm doing a research. I find so many things to be like new and I'm like, okay, this is also done with WordPress. Okay. And I call myself an expert. And that's all. Okay. So now you can see this is how it works. So now I'm going to show you how to work with a footer. Okay. So before get adding anything, I want to tell you what is a footer, okay? If you just come here to our website, I can see that footer is basically called the footer area of the website. So this is this is the area. Downside is called the footer. If I just want to add anything on the footer, which is not recommended, but I just wanted to tell you that um, add widgets appear in the footer. So let's suppose that I want to add um, about my just company. Okay, which is like item zeal. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna add like um, about us. Okay, and then I want to add the larum ipsum. Okay, and I need it to be like small, not very big. Let's suppose that I need it like this. Okay, that's all. And I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna hit save right now. Okay, I have added it in the sidebar, but I want to just drag it and drop it right here in the text area. Now let's go ahead and let's refresh. So now you can see that this is how it is coming inside here in the footer. And mostly people do have the footer, mostly websites, okay? Let, um, let me show you the examples. Even Udemy has that. Okay, if I just open up my profile and, and then I go down, you can see this is the area that we have. It's basically called the footer, okay? Same like this, if I just open up um, Apple, let's just open up the apple.com, okay? Um, and then I go down, go down, and you can see this is the area that we have for Apple. So they have used menus right here. Same like this, you can use the menu, okay? For the footer two, you can show a menu, okay? Um, let's see if we have a menu. Navigation menu, okay? I'm gonna add this to footer two, and then I'm gonna add the widget. Okay, and then I have to select the menu to the menus that we have. So let's suppose that I want to add a new menu. Let's just go to the menu right here and I want to create that menu to be like footer menu. Okay, I'm going to hit create a new menu and then I'm going to add it to be like footer menu. 
Okay, and that's all I have to just hit create menu. This is right here and I want to add all the links. So I'm going to select all. Okay, it will be added here. Just I want to be just delete this page because we have two home. Okay, home about us blog contact us. Okay, and I also need the, the categories right here. So let's suppose that I want to add these as well. Okay, and these are coming here. And I want to add the more links. So um, it will be like um, link to my Facebook. So it's going to be like um, fb.com. And the link text is to be like find us on Facebook. So here you can add the link of your Facebook page. That's all you have to hit add to menu and these right here. So this is all coming here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save. And now I'm going to go to the widgets and I'm going to refresh this. So on refreshing, you will see um, we have the navigation menu and we have the menus to select. So I'm going to select the footer menu and I'm going to hit save. That's all you have to do. You don't need to select the position here, guys. Okay. I'm going to come here and I'm going to refresh this. And you can see how it is looking. Home, about us, blog, contact us and everything. So I'm going to select the title to be like... Um, need help need help okay and so you can keep it like um, menu all pages or the site map or anything so now let's go ahead and let's just save it and let's have a look at this okay you can see um, our website now looks kind of bit professional not very much professional but it looks kind of professional so you can see it says the about us all pages and everything but um, I don't think so if um, the footer is looking cool. So I'm going to go to this and I'm going to remove this. And let's remove it from here. That's all. Let's go ahead and let's refresh. And now you can see that there is no footer and our website now looks much better instead of that. So now we're totally, totally done with the blog. We're totally done with that. And now in this video, I'm going to be telling you about the settings a bit in the next video, sorry. And then we're going to be working up with the customization and then the theme. And then we're going to work with a project. So I'm so excited to just work on the projects right now. But um, I know you must be excited the same. But please, guys, watch this section because this section is so important. Do not miss any of the video because everything is new in here. So stay tuned, guys, and bye-bye.